Hey everyone. So a while back I did a video using the Microsoft Custom Vision service to create a image classification model. But in this video I'm going to use the same Custom Vision service and I'm going to create uh, a more sophisticated model. And this one will be, it'll not only tell us uh, kind of the classification uh, that we tell it, but it'll also tell us where in the image. So it'll do some object detection within the image. So I'm here in the Custom Vision uh, website here and I'll create a new project. And in the project types here, so we originally did classification, now I'm going to do object detection. And real quick, just to show you what images I'm going to do here, uh, I have a set of red and white lines and I'm going to see not only if it can tell me if the image is of red or white wine, but tell me where in the image that the wine is. So I'm going to name this one, and the custom vision service is now tied to your Azure account, uh, so you have to create, uh, put it into a resource group. And then I'm going to keep the domain as general. All right, so now we have to add some images. So I'll do the red first, add all of these. There we go. Now these are all untagged, so we have to go through and tag all of these. And what we have to do manually is we have to tell it, um, to tell, it tell the service where in the image we want it to classify or detect where the wine is. And it kind of helps you. See, if I scroll over, it gives me these kind of a bounding box. So it kind of helps uh, helps me in that regard. So I can just click this, and I can tell it that's red. And I go to the next one. And I'll do these with all of the all these videos here. All right, that's all the red wine images tagged. So I'll do the same thing for the white wine images. Alright, so now that we have red and white one images tagged, we'll hit the train button here. And it's going to train a, a model, or object detection model for us. And this is kind of new actually here, I've never seen training type here. Uh, I'll keep with the fast training. I may train real quick, it may take a couple of minutes or so. All right, so our training came back here, and we can see we have our precision and recall, but we also have a mean average precision, uh, which is the basically the overall object detection performance that the custom vision gives us. And we're at 69.4%, which uh, th there's a lot of improvement that we can do, uh, but let's go ahead and do some quick testing to see, just to see how it goes. All right, so I have a red and white test here, see how the red does. Uh, so at first here we have 97.7 .7 on the red, which is pretty good. Let's check the white, and 98.8 .8 on the white. That's actually pretty good. So what happens if we do red and white together? Let's see what we get. Alright, 87% on the white, and 72% on the red. So it's actually pretty good. And we didn't actually do any training sets on both red and white together. So it's actually pretty good that it does that by itself. And when you do a quick test, you can tell what, which iteration you can run on. And each, reiterate, each iteration is each time you hit the train button here. And uh, real quick, this advanced training. Uh, this basically lets you train the model for one hour to 24 hours, uh, which is a, a long time for it to train, but of course the longer that you train your model, the better results that you'll get. 
but keep in mind that you will be charged for each of these hours so that's why I mainly keep with a uh, fast training here right so that's how we create an object detection model using the custom vision service in another video I will show how to use the Python SDK to use the model that we generated here to programmatically detect wine from images. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks.